Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Ryan, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the Systems Engineering Management Plan, or what I call a SEMP. A Systems Engineering Management Plan is a document that addresses a contractor's overall systems engineering management approach. It provides unique insight into the application of a contractor's standards, capability models, configuration management, and tool sets to their organization. This is different from a systems engineering plan which should address system engineering aspects on a particular program or project. The SEMP is usually written in response to a government systems engineering plan and describe a contractor's proposed efforts for planning, controlling, and conducting a fully integrated engineering effort. The SEMP is basically the rule book that describes to all project personnel and stakeholder how a project will be technically managed. The definition of a systems engineering management plan is an organizational document that details the technical and management processes that will be used and applied by program and engineering personnel on how system engineering activities will be organized and managed on projects. How to develop a systems engineering management plan The SEMP should be developed before any projects are undertaken by an organization. The development of the programmatic and technical management approaches requires that the key project personnel develop an understanding of the work to be performed and the relationships among the various parts of that work. A SEMP's development requires contributions from leadership, program management, engineering personnel, technical experts, cost estimators, schedulers, and many other areas that impact a project outcome. What main content goes into a systems engineering management plan? The SEMP provides the technical content that program personnel need on how an organization expects them to execute their project. The SEMP should include Description of the technical effort and technical processes on what will be used, how the processes will be applied using appropriate activities. Project structure to accomplish activities, information flow, decision making. Resources required for accomplishing the activities. Project critical events objectives during any phase of the project's life cycle. Work product outputs of the processes and how the processes are integrated. Communication standards between project management and engineering teams. And finally, entry and exit criteria of work products during project phases. What detailed content goes into a systems engineering management plan? The detailed content that should be included in a SEMP include Organization of the development team, along with their physical location and facilities needs. Technical environments for a project and how they will be managed. It should also discuss the interaction with the pre production and production environments. Description of the evaluation and decision making process to be used when resolving technical questions. Description of the system engineering methodology. Description of how external interfaces will be developed and managed. Description of how data conversion development will be performed and managed. Implementation planning to include a description of how you will manage the deployment of system functionality, the training required for both end users and technical staff, the coordination slash communication needed to prepare the target environments. Production support strategy. A description of how production support will be done concurrently with development, given the incremental release requirements for the project. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Systems Engineering Management Plan. For more information to include a notional outline and much more, visit the webpage. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ActNotes.